Good morning from Arequipa, Peru. My name is Ivana and I'm about to have a wonderful breakfast. Breakfast time! No. Well, I'm Caroline Fuchs, born in Arequipa, Peru. No, I'm a Mistiana. And actually I lived in Europe for over 20 years, so I can speak French, English, German, stupidities and Spanish. <laughs> nice. I'm a tourist guide and I welcome you to my country. Thank you so much for having us. We didn't introduce you yesterday, so I thought it was like proper to, okay. um, you on, know, on for the, the people to know to who you up. are. Yeah, who the smart lady is. The proper tour guide. Like. Well, I hope, I hope. No, no, I am the worst tour guide ever, so you actually know what you're talking about. I would be like, oh, we're going up a mountain, you should eat chocolate because chocolate is awesome. And you actually know why <laughs> we should eat chocolate. Why should we eat chocolate on the mountain? Because why then you good? have, of course, lots of sugar in your bloodstream. It yeah. helps you. It's like eating bananas when you play, you know, tennis. It gives you But power. why is chocolate better than bananas? It helps the, the red blood cells. Oh. No? I am all for it. Let's eat chocolate. Yes. <laughs> to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. This is the really good chocolate. I have to say it's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm. Very tasteful. Yeah. It's very is different the than the... Um, is that the fondant? Yeah. yeah. Good. Mm. Lota is preparing me a coca fix. What do we do, Lota? Okay, so first of all, yeah. You throw three leaves into the wind to pay Mother Earth. Okay. Gracias, Pachamama. I'm here. I'm just little. little. <laughs> and then you get a little bit of this black stuff. This all looks so questionable. I have no it words for this. Really is. And it's like coca leaves, man. This feels a bit uh, like like yeah, you're uh, preparing like a gum for drawing, like like a very sturdy gum. Okay. The the paste. You the mean. paste. Yes. Yeah. And it's ashes True. of herbs. Okay. Uh, like this. mint. Yes. This this, this, is this is ashes of herbs. Wait. You take a package of leaves. Yeah. You roll it up. Okay. Like this. Yeah. You put it in your mouth. Yeah. You chew it. Yeah. And you chew it for as long as you can. Okay. And then when you get really numb in your mouth. Yeah. You spit it out. This all sounds so questionable and that's what she said. Like, I have no words for this. Swallow okay. the saliva, but not the leaves. <laughs> I can't. Like, I'm too, like, I have, my mind is too dirty for this. Okay. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay, she's putting... Paste of ashes. Okay. <laughs> and sprinkle it around in your mouth. Jesus! That's what she said. That's what he said. <laughs> this is so dirty. Okay. Things you don't want to hear, I know. <laughs> On your honeymoon night, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it tastes very herby. Yes. Do you taste like I, I'm just eating leaves and grass? But the, the mint paste is quite sweet. That right? makes it sweet, yeah. yes. Just keep going until you go. You have a dentist feeling. <laughs> like, like so your mind will go numb. Yes. And your stomach as well. Apparently, that's. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's black. And it's supposed to be very good for your teeth. Can you swallow it? No, actually? don't swallow it. I'll let you take some. Oh, I want to. Okay. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to say I want to swallow it, but you don't want to swallow it. It just sounds so wrong. You swallow little bits of it, of course, because you, it moves around your mouth. That's not the whole. I sound like an expert. <laughs> you are! <laughs> My goodness. I'm okay. having so much fun. My right tongue now. is going numb now. <laughs> oh, it's completely green. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> She's lying. <that's> just <laughs> Guys, just for the record, this is not illegal. This yeah. is actually yeah. really good for you to battle altitude sickness. <laughs> this is like for medicinal reasons. This is to battle altitude sickness, right? Yes. Yes. And I feel better yes. already. Really? Yes, my head is not as light anymore. Her head is light. Our guide is not feeding us drugs, even though it's coca leaves. My, my tongue is going numb. Yeah. But I still want to swallow it. No, no, don't swallow Why it. Why shouldn't you swallow it? Because now, please get to sit down. Oh, okay. I will do that. <laughs> I'm sorry safety about first. that. Like no, safety yeah. first. Safety if first. We break. <laughs> we're done. Okay, so my we're mind is. My mouth is going numb. <laughs> 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 fly out. Mm. I'm eating grass, leaves. But seriously, it, 
you're not you supposed to like smoke. Uh, you feel like you smoke. Yeah, I do feel like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> but why should you swallow it? Yeah, because it's not good for you. Well, it's not bad. Why not? No, we only make the saliva juice of it. Yeah, my mouth is now completely numb. Currently we are climbing up to an altitude of 4,000 meters and tomorrow we're going up to 5,000 meters so the risk of altitude sickness is very real but we're protected by the, well kind of, we're battling it with the coca leaf. Uh, we spit it out. Okay, it's okay, like my whole mouth is full. I like the taste actually. Yeah, it's you have the leaf down. The little leaf that is still stone. Yeah, that the, the little ashes, paste. Yeah. It's sweet. We yeah. have others that are not sweet. sweet. Oh, okay. So it has nice. Sweet stuff from stevia. Yeah. Stevia is sweet. Is it a little bit like pan? Like pan in Where? India? Pan? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I don't okay. Know. Then I don't know. Anyways, we're climbing. Ashes, yeah. Ashes. Ah, okay, okay. Anyways, we're climbing up to an altitude of 4,000 meters. And we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff. We have reached an altitude of over 4,000 meters. So last time I was at Pangong Lake, that was 4,500 meters. And we're almost getting to that altitude. It is very beautiful here. Also a little bit chilly, not that cold. It's a little bit chilly. It's all right, actually. This is absolutely brilliant. This old school radio <laughs> and then, like rocky music. Look, they sell so many of these cocoa leaves and the packagings are really cute actually look at this really really cute they have everything they have coca cookies coca candy oh look like separate packets this is fascinating man I'm gonna try coca tea I haven't tried it before the others have tried it during breakfast but I was late obviously like always I'm gonna try ah. it's a little bit like a more herby green not it's a mixture of green tea and minty I think mm. Good. I have to say, I definitely have this fear of altitude sickness because Leila Duck was so, you know, heavy on my body. But it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Like the the tour guide, she's so sweet, and she's like, "Oh, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry too much about it." Blah blah. blah. So it's definitely comforting, and also like having the coca tea and stuff. Mm. Alpacas, look at them. They're so cute. Okay, so when their ears go back, they're scared and you should be like careful that they don't spit on you. This black one looks okay-ish. Shall we try to pet this one? Let's look at the ears. Look at the ears. No, he's scared. Let's leave him alone. This one is also a little bit scared, but they're actually following one. Hmm, how does this work? Let's see if this works out. Hello, little alpaca. Yeah. But why they don't like me? Okay, why? Why you not like me? What did I do to you? Hello, Mr. Alpaca. Was I just too fast for you? This is cute. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Are you a little bit camera shy? Yeah. Now he's getting used to the camera. Hello. You're a beautiful soul, aren't you? You're just a little bit shy. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. A wise man once told me, if you love the alpaca, the alpaca.
We have arrived in Sibayo and we're gonna get a super special welcome by the people who live here, the traditional people. Let me show you. They look so beautiful. Look at that. Hola! Buenos dias! Wow! They currently dressed us in traditional clothes. Skirt. This uh, poncho. Yeah, Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. And apparently we got a dance. <laughs> <laughs> so cute so those are the traditional people who live here and right now they are serving us a traditional lunch as well soup so we have veggie soup over here we have the corn over there we have the coca tea over here the traditional corn juice from the purple corn let me try the soup so we have some sweet potato over here uh, we have some corn mm. That's really tasty. Mm. Oh, there's also some quinoa in there. So quinoa is actually from Peru. And it's a massive hype worldwide because it's so healthy for you. The cheese is made here. Okay, wow. Oh, I just heard. The cheese is made here. I love cheese. Good. Main dish again, lots and lots and lots of veggies. I really like that. It's so healthy over here. A little bit of rice, nice. Llamas, llamas. Eee, you're so cute, and they're they're listening so well. Hello, cutie pies, little models. Wow, we have arrived in a beautiful nature area in the mountains right now we are at an altitude of 3500 meters i just have to show you this environment because this is where we're going to spend the night beautiful super luxury lodge so many cactuses over here plants um it's just so pretty in the middle of nature i have to give you a heads up this place is by far the most phenomenal room i have ever seen in my life it is a lodge actually you have to understand that i've stayed in plenty of five-star hotels even in the hotel where president bush stays and president obama stayed when they're in the netherlands yes i've stayed in those places but this place is is beyond words like you have to see this i'm gonna give you a room tour and it's gonna be the room tour of all room tours so this is where you come in over here there's a little bit of fruit that's cute. Then we get into the living room with a massive bed. I will do a bed test in a minute. Huge sitting area, a fireplace. You can call them and they will come and ignite it, which we're doing tonight, obviously. Now, step into the bathroom, the closet area over here. Massive mirror. Like seriously, by now I'm I'm just blown away by Peru and everything that it has to offer. The bathtub. This is huge. Like I don't know how to give you scale. This bathtub is like for two people. There is an outdoor shower, if you would prefer that. There is an indoor shower, if you would prefer that. Over here is like the you know the the place where you brush your teeth whatever separate toilet but that's not everything we're not finished yet my friends now 
step onto the terrace there we go it's quite cold outside and there is a private swimming pool with this view and can you hear those nature sounds in the background like this there are there are no words this place is absolutely phenomenal wow just wow i have a head massage scheduled in five minutes so that's what we're going to do first and after that obviously we're stepping into that outdoor pool it is heated yes it is heated don't you worry about a thing and then maybe in the bathtub and then later i'm going to ask them to light the fireplace what is life right now i i i am just blown away blown away loving this place so much the link is down in the description below if you would like to know for yourself or if you would like to stay here i would say a definite bucket list item like what what is life right now going in for the head massage guys <sighs> it smells so nice here okay this looks so nice That was so nice, off to the private pool, man. Ooh. Blessing, some blessing, some blessing. That was absolutely phenomenal. Bucket list item. Right now we're off to dinner. We're gonna start off with a pumpkin and leek soup. Ooh, the main course. This is quinoa risotto. Again, very, very delicious Peruvian food. I just came back to the room. Look at this cuteness. I have this warm, this warm cuddle thingy. Oh, love it. And look at this. They put down the slippers and they actually made the bed. Because before, there was this like cloth over the bed. Okay. And a little good night snack, chocolate. Wow, just wow. Obviously, I'm still gonna take a bath because that bath is screaming to be used. But I'm gonna end the vlog here and tomorrow we have a lot more fun stuff to do in Peru. Guys, we're seeing a condor, but it's not very visible on camera. <laughs> so if you would like to travel along, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!